Hi, I'm Kyle, and I'm with Nelly Security. Oh man, I can't wait to see what happens next. Hi, I'm Kyle and I'm with Nelly Security and today we're going to be going over our IP Vandal Domes. Now I've got a few laid out here on the table just to see exactly what they look like. We've got some fixed lens and varifocal versions all the way from 2 megapixel up to 8 megapixel. And here coming up we're going to lay out the specs of each camera just to see exactly what they can do. Alright, let's check them out. We offer two styles on our Vandal Dome cameras, fixed lens and varifocal lens. Our fixed lens Vandal Domes currently come in three resolutions, 2, 4, and 8 megapixels. Each camera has a 2.8 millimeter fixed lens. Our varifocal Vandal Domes come in 4 megapixels and 8 megapixels. Both cameras have a 2.8 to 12 millimeter lens. All five cameras boast an IR range of up to 100 feet and a slot able to hold a micro 128GB SD card. Now that you've seen the specs of these cameras, let's talk about what we're going to be doing in this video today. First, we're going to be showing you the differences between a dome, bullet, and turret style cameras. Second, we're going to see how hard it is to actually take one of these vandal domes down compared to a bullet style camera. Third, we'll be showing you the differences between 2, 4, and 8 megapixel resolutions. Fourth, we'll be talking about the differences between digitally and optically zooming. And last but not least, we're going to see exactly how tough these Vandal Domes are and put them to the test. Alright, so let's get to it. Alright, so as you can see here, I went ahead and mounted a few cameras here. Um, we've got a bullet, turret, and a dome style. Just so you can get a good idea of what they look like and how they're pointing and you can see exactly where the lenses are when it comes to the bullet and the turret style. When it comes to the dome a camera, you gotta actually get right up on it to see exactly what it looks like and where the lens is pointing. Uh, and that's great for most situations, especially if you're wanting to keep people guessing on exactly what the camera is looking at. We'll move on to the next clip and we'll go from there. Now in this clip, we're going to see exactly how hard it is to take down a dome style camera as well as how easy it is to take down a bullet style camera. I went ahead and took the same cameras we had before and mounted them a little bit higher up to give us a real world situation and I grabbed a, a lasso here and we're just going to see exactly what it takes to pull one of these cameras down. Alright, so let's wrangle them up. There we go. And then you just yank it on down. Alright, so after that demonstration you can obviously see how easy it is you can lasso a, a bullet style camera and then how difficult it is to even get close to wrapping this thing around a dome style camera. And that just goes to show how important it is to keep your camera safe and secure. Alright, so in this section we're going to see the differences between the three resolutions that we carry on our Vandal domes. Uh, so we have 2 megapixel, which is 1080p, 4 megapixel, which is 1440p, and then 8 megapixel, which is 4K. And I set up a little set back here so we can see the differences between the sharpness on the images as well as color quality. Alright, so in this first clip we're looking at the 2 megapixel dome. And from what we can see is the colors are pretty faded out and it's not the sharpest image in the world. But it definitely gets the job done with its 30 frames per second. Now in this next clip we're looking at the 4 megapixel Vandal Dome and there's a huge difference between this one and the last resolution we looked at just from looking at the colors alone and even the sharpness in the image. Um, that's definitely a huge jump and 4 megapixel is really the sweet spot when it comes to resolution. Okay so in this final recording we have here is the 8 megapixel or 4K Vandal Dome. And as you can tell, compared to the other two resolutions, this resolution is just so much crisper and clearer. The color quality is great. And you just won't see anything else compared to the, the other two resolutions when you come to 4K. And that's definitely the way to go if you're trying to get the highest resolution possible. 
And so after looking at those clips, you can definitely tell that there's a difference between the three resolutions. Um, as you can see here at two megapixel, and then here at four megapixel, you can definitely see that the two megapixel quality is much lower than the four megapixel. And then whenever you see that eight megapixel here, it just blows the other two out of the water, which definitely makes you want to go straight for the 4K. But even though you get a 4K camera, you can definitely still go with the two or four megapixel. It just comes down to the situation that you have. Now that we've compared the three resolutions, let's talk about the differences between digitally and optically zooming. With a varifocal camera, this camera optically zooms. This means that inside the camera, it can mechanically move the lens in and out, giving you the full resolution of the camera as you zoom in. Whereas with a fixed lens camera, you can only digital zoom with these. And basically, you just blow up the image more and zoom in on the pixels. This gives you a lower resolution image the more you zoom in. Now that we've talked about the differences, let's put some pictures up so you can see the differences between the two. Alright, so looking at those clips, you can definitely see the difference between digitally and optically zooming. So the real question is, why don't you just buy a varifocal camera every time? Well, there are a couple of drawbacks. One is that the size of a varifocal camera is much higher than a fixed lens camera. Second is the cost. You'll definitely pay the difference. Now there are a few situations where you will need a varifocal camera. One is if you want to zoom in across a parking lot into a specific area or even down a, a driveway or an alleyway. Now, most customers will go ahead and get a fixed lens camera with a wide field of view and it usually works out just fine for them. But it really depends on your situation. Alright, so I went ahead and grabbed a Vandal Dome off the shelf and we're just going to see exactly how tough these things are. Um, according to the spec sheet, these things can withstand some hurricane force winds and quite a, bit of, quite a bit of damage from just anyone coming up to it and giving them a smack. So I went ahead and grabbed our Nelly safety stick and just see exactly how tough these things are. Alright, so let's get after it. Okay, so I got this safety stick about, um, I'd say, three or foot up in the air and we're just going to drop it on there and see exactly what happens. Three, two, one. Okay, so I'm not seeing too many marks on it just from that. Uh, let's give it a few more whacks and see how it looks. Three, two, one. One more for good measure. Three, two, one. There we go. That was a good smack. Ooh, looks like we got a little scratch there. But that's really about it. Not too much damage from that. So you really got to do quite a bit to get these domes damaged. And that's the awesome thing about them. I just barely scuffed it. You can't see it at all that much. So we've made it to the end of the video. And I really hope all the information I provided for you guys helped you make the right decision on the camera for you. Whether it's a basic 1080p Vandal Dome or a varifocal 4K Vandal Dome, we carry both and everything in between. And if you have any questions at all, feel free to visit us at NellySecurity.com and we'll answer them properly. Thank you. Have a good day.